three buses. I am going to a temple, um, hopefully getting a, a tattoo by a monk. Um, so we have one more bus to go before we actually get there. But before that, I want to get some food in me. Some food. And luckily, what a coincidence, I actually found a place that has my favorite, favorite noodle. Anyways, well, I'll see you back at the table. This <laughs> food. Alright, so this is the noodle I was talking about. It's called Yen Tafo. Um, so it has this like really special red sauce that I normally make. Um, it comes with like a fried one ton. comes with meat, uh, <laughs> fish balls. Um, oh, this one has squid. So this is a little bit different from United States. They normally have meat and they have like this here, they have pork's blood. This is actually like more of my type of noodles actually. Um, it, can, it comes with fish cakes and rice noodles. And some morning glory. Oh my god, you guys know morning glory is one of my favorite vegetables. So we have some condiments. Normally they come with condiments like um, chives or like green onions. Um, I normally like mine with green onions. It's a, t it's a cleansing palette kind of thing. And I love mine with vinaigrette jalapenos. Let's see if you guys see that. Um, fish sauce. <laughs> it's very pungent, but I love it. You don't need so much in it. Oh yeah, so there's a, they always have like Amazing condiments. Amazing. A lot. So I want to take the first bite. Mmm. Gonna have my On the side, let's try the soup. Mmm, it's so good. I'm gonna add a little bit more of this. The noodles are like perfectly cooked. It's very vel velvety. <laughs> or should I say like more silky? Hmm. Anyways. I'm making a mess here. Normally I'll make a mess if like the food is like delicious. Yeah. So I'm just gonna finish this up. I gotta like hurry up actually because we have a bus, a bus to catch. Um, so yeah, I'll see you when I take another nap on the bus and then head to the temple. Okay, so we just had to make a pit stop at a coffee shop. One of the reasons is because we are not entirely sure where the bus stop is. Um, so these amazing people tell us to just stay here until she tells us that the bus is coming. <laughs> we got this, we got this. And I met we, as in my friend and intern from Gaga, we met each other. Yeah, we met each other from Gaga, right? Yeah, so what's your name? Sungur. Sungur, so excited. Anyways, if it wasn't with, if it wasn't for him, I'd probably be back all the way back in Bangkok getting lost. Still. Yeah, we are lost together. Yeah. Anyways, okay. Well, I'll see you in a minute. Let's go vanilla. Uh, vanilla, yang dia. Ling Long. Uh huh. I got some free ice cream. <laughs> I've actually tried these before. These are. 
like bread and ice cream, it's so amazing. So it just seems like I got like vanilla, chocolate, and oh, cookies and cream. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna, hey, you want some? <laughs> yeah, I, I want some, of course. We finally made it to our final last bus. Um, I'm actually pretty excited right now. Um, it's funny because like I kept going on the left side of the bus, but it's actually on the right side. So, <laughs> I'm going in. Hey, where's the entrance? I, I have no idea. I think this is like main campus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know where you can get yeast and the flowers. And yeah. Everything. So before um, getting a tattoo, you don't technically have to pay for it, but you do need to give some fruits and like cigarettes and like just like a whole care package. Um, so we're gonna go look for that now. Oh my god, wow, beautiful, beautiful. bouquet of a thank you <laughs> all right so we're ha we have uh, we have to like wait there's a bunch of people just like sitting around here with the same bouquet um, so yeah we're gonna sit we're gonna probably go get some drinks hey guys I am done with my tattoo session and it was it was a very pleasant experience um, I, I actually like kind of get nervous and like antsy when I hear like the tattoo gun just going to <laughs> it out the whole time. But this, uh, to replace that, there was like chimes everywhere and wind in my face, and it's just so quiet and peaceful here. Um, yeah. Um, so yes, I the monk was using like a bamboo stick with a point. They normally say. Um, so it's just been like, you know, kind of like a little gentle stab uh, motion. Um, the difference between like using, like going to a tattoo parlor is that like the feeling is more like they're tearing their skin. Um, it is, I, I feel like it's much more painful, but whereas, whereas this type of, oh, also it's called Sankyant. So yeah, Sankyant. 
yeah. I don't know if I'm saying this right. Um, but yeah, they poke you and it's so gentle. It's so gentle. Um, I was amazed by the first poke. I was like, oh, yeah. Ouch, but damn. This is like painfully sweet. Or, I, you know, <laughs> if you know what I mean, it, it was, it was painful but in a very sweet, loving way. That makes sense. <laughs> Anyways, I got one on my arm because I have a scar, if you guys can see it. Yeah. And this one means luck. Um, bring luck into my life. Um, yeah. I think since I don't know, I think, um, I think it's been, I think, anyways, so anyways, I, my friend Stunger just has his on his nape and he's actually off getting his second one and I may be getting my second one, so, that means I have to buy another bouquet of flowers, incense, and a candle, and cigarettes. So I'll see you and I'll update you on my second one if I'm getting one. We'll see. We'll see and I most likely will. <laughs>
laser off tattoo people please let me know and I don't care if it hurts because I really want to get rid of it but yeah they're from two different uh, monks actually so this one's like way darker <laughs> anyways I uh, after after um, I got my second one done. Um, there was these three lovely ladies who were getting one done um, after us. And I was just speaking to them and they were so friendly. One of them, she looked so cute and she had like a lot of them on their backs. And yeah, they were nice enough to drive us to um, the main bus line instead of us having to take like three or four. Um, so that was very helpful and the best part is that was while we're in the car <laughs> like kind of you know learning how to speak Thai and we like of course food came up so have you guys heard about durians that smelly exotic fruit the king of the fruits I I was saying I love durian so much and then one of the one of the nice ladies she is actually one of, uh, she's actually a mother to one of them. She's actually also a cook and a chef too, but mostly for health, um, mainly like for like cancer patients and stuff like that. She, I mentioned that I love durian, and guess what? She makes these homemade. Okay, it's sealed. It's been like sealed um, because it's you know how if you guys have heard it's smelly and. In a good way to me, it's smelly. So she made these durian paste, and it's like in this box. And I was in the car, just like I know it looks weird, but it's so good. It, it's it's she she I don't know how she says she cooked it. Um, she cooked it. I don't know actually her recipe. I wish I've known how she um, made this. Mm. There's a guy downstairs in front of the apartment. I like, I give him so much props because I see him in the morning, 6 a.m. with his stall until nighttime, and then just selling fresh durian. Always have a big smile on his face. And I would actually, you know, if I don't see him making any sales, I will buy one. I mean, yay for me, right? But today, even though I have this amazing, <laughs> I know this looks weird, but it's so good. I can't, 
and trying to find ways of a uh, ways of putting this into a recipe. Um. Mm. So, I saw him downstairs when I was getting out of the cab. I was walking towards his his cart, and I was like, "There's no durian left." I, this has been the first time since his cart was completely empty, and I went up there. And I was like, no durian? <laughs> and he's like, nope, on his phone, just smiling. And that kind of, that just warms my heart. It kind of ended my day in a very nice, comfortable note. Anyway, so talking about my day, going to the temple, eating a lot, um, getting, end up getting two tattoos. I will be here for like maybe another two months or so or something, probably go back and get another one. I'm not really sure. Um, but I would like to have more. <laughs> whoa, whoa, right? Um, so yeah, I'm going to take this and watch some Netflix. Some more foodie stuff, more food stuff on Thailand. Um, if you guys haven't watched Street Food, please watch it. The episode of Thailand is actually one of my favorites. All right, well, see you next time, and thank you for putting up with my long journey. Um, well, yeah, it's been pretty long today. Anyways, but I feel like it was entirely worth it. Ow! Okay. Yeah.